Have you ever thought about staying on your cruise ship while on port and having that cruise ship all to yourself? In this video, I'm going to go over some of the best reasons to do this, as well as a few reasons why you might not want to and why you might even be disappointed if you do. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, we are going to go over the eight things that I think you're going to love if you do end up staying on board the cruise ship while you're in port and really some reasons why you might want to do this. However, some things I did want to talk about is some of the things that you might be disappointed in if you do stay on the cruise ship while you're in port because it might be things that just you aren't expecting and things that aren't often talked about. Now, I do have to apologize for the shadows in this video. I, I have some beautiful sun outside, but it is creating some new shadows today and I do apologize even though I have some lighting here it's just not fixing it all up but I do want to share this information with you today so before I get started I did want to mention that if you enjoy this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give the video a big thumbs up I really do appreciate it and of course please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already I'd love to have you here within the life while cruised community let's get started so the first reason why you might want to stay on the cruise ship while you're in port is that you've already already been to that port before. So I guess this one is a little bit obvious, but if you've been to Cozumel again and again, or you've been to maybe Nassau Bahamas again and again, or even maybe one of the private islands, you've been there before, you've been there, you've done that, maybe this is a really good day to give yourself an extra sea day. Now, even if perhaps you've looked at the excursions and nothing is really interesting you, you might really appreciate having that one extra day where most people are going to get off the cruise ship and you're going to have that cruise ship almost to yourself. Number two, no chair hogs. Yes, most people are going to get off the cruise ship when you're in port, especially in those earlier hours. I have to say, by the time we hit about two o'clock in the afternoon, you will start noticing that people are going to be coming back to the cruise ship and it is going to start to get a little bit more crowded. But in those earlier hours, you know, at nine o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, even 11 o'clock in the morning, you're actually going to be able to get a chair just about anywhere you want. So if you like to be near the pool, that is absolutely amazing. If you wanna get some of those really comfy, loungy patio furniture style deck chairs, you can even get these on those port days where most people are getting off that ship. Number three, this is a great day where you could actually sleep in and you could relax. Now, if you've cruised before, or even if this is your first cruise, I'm sure that you're aware that there are so many things to do both on the cruise ship and off the cruise ship at night, during the day, and it can be a busy vacation. And this is a really great time to actually slow down a little bit. You could plan a little bit less, sleep in in the morning, have a leisurely breakfast, then head over to the pool or to some of the other activities on the cruise ship. You could just have that downtime of a day that you might really be needing. It's also a really good day even to get out a book and just to have that quiet time, even in spaces on the cruise ship that are typically very busy. Number four, go on the water slides and other activities without any lineups. Now, if you are on a mega ship where you have maybe race cars, surfing pools, zip lines, uh, water slides, any of those really fun activities, those often come on sea days with big lineups. After all, people love these things to do. But when you stay on the cruise ship, when you're in port, you can actually get a lot of these activities almost to yourself. And as a matter of fact, we are going to be going on shortly on the Oasis of the Seas. And that is our plan when we're in Port Canaveral. We don't plan to get off the cruise ship and instead we'll use that day to do some of the activities and some of the other things that we really wanna do on that cruise ship when most people get off at the port. Number five, snag those spa deals and those salon deals. Now, oftentimes the spa and the salon, they honestly don't wanna be empty during those days in port. So what they will do is they will offer promotions for those days. Now, sometimes you'll have a discount. It might be about 20%. It could even be more. Other times you'll be able to get one service and then have an add-on to it that really has a very good value. You might find that a couple's massage is much cheaper. 
and this is a really good day to do it. Now, likewise, if you wanna to go to the salon and get a manicure, pedicure, uh, get your hair done, get a shave, those are all things that you could look at for that day when your cruise ship is in port. Stay on the ship and take advantage of those spa and salon specials. Now you might even find other things on the cruise ship that are on special or on promotion as well, including sometimes some drink specials. If you've noticed this before, if you've stayed on the cruise ship while your cruise ship is in port, can you please let me know down in the comments below what are some of the best deals that you've seen on those days? Now, so far these have been some really good reasons to stay on the cruise ship while you're in port. However, there are some downsides and I do wanna give you a realistic idea of what to expect. So that is coming up in just a couple of points. Number six, you are going to get the very best cruise ship photos if you take them on the cruise port days. Every other day, your cruise ship is going to be crowded. However, on days where other people go off the cruise ship, these are really great times to be able to take photos of some of the venues around the cruise ship if you wanna do that of some, maybe even a couple photo or a photo of yourself. These are just perfect days to be able to take this. The cruise ship will genuinely be probably about maybe 10% full. So really much, much quieter. And at the same time, if you're somebody maybe who wants to do a vlog either for YouTube or just even for yourself, this is a really good day to do it. Number seven, and this is a really good one. If you have a really port intensive itinerary, you might actually physically need a day of rest in between those ports where maybe you're doing very long excursions and very strenuous excursions, doing a lot of sightseeing, a lot of walking. You actually might need that downtime where you sleep in a little bit, where you relax a little bit more. And if that's what you need, make sure that you take it, do not feel guilty. Number eight, now this one isn't gonna be for everybody, but if you're somebody who really likes to go to the gym, to the fitness center, this is a day where you're not gonna to have to give up your treadmill or your elliptical or any of the other machines because somebody else is waiting. You can stay as long pretty much as you want in the fitness center and you could work off all of those cruise calories. Now this one's a little bit of a bonus one and it's also not for everybody, but if you do wanna get your laundry done while you're on the cruise ship and not every cruise ship does have a small laundry room to do your laundry, but some cruise ships do. So if that is something that you like to do while you're cruising, if you wanna get home and not have laundry to do, you could use that day where most people are off the cruise ship to get a little bit of your laundry done or maybe after your cruise, you're still sightseeing, you're staying in port couple of days and it will be helpful for you to do your laundry. So some people really do like to do that. Now please let me know if you do laundry in a cruise ship and if you would consider doing laundry on a day when people get off the ship and you stay on it when you're in port. So now that we've gone over the best reasons to stay on a cruise ship, these are five reasons why you might be disappointed or at least just that you know what to expect. So the first thing is the main dining room is often closed for lunch. So if you like going to the main dining room on sea days. If you stay on the cruise ship while it's in port, you can expect that most of the time this stays closed. And you'll of course have the buffet and other casual restaurants, but even specialty dining restaurants that you might enjoy on sea days will likely not be open on the days when your cruise ship is in port. Number two, the casino is going to be closed. So if you love the casino and this is something that you really enjoy doing on sea days, do not stay on the cruise ship expecting that the casino will be open and you can stay in there. It will be closed when your cruise ship is in port. Number three, there will be less kids in the kids club on the day when your cruise ship is in port. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing. However, if your kids are enrolled in the kids club and if they're used to seeing their friends day after day, they may be disappointed when they get there and their friends are not there. Number four, there will be less activities on board than you would normally have on sea days. Now there still will be activities, but you can expect that the vibe or the experience is going to be a little bit quieter. So often you won't have a band next to the pool if this is something you usually have, although you will still have some music. Uh, you won't have those pool games and things like that that often do happen on sea days. However, you'll likely still have trivia and maybe some lectures going on in the cruise ship. So it is a good idea to actually take 
take a look before you decide to stay on the cruise ship um, when your cruise ship is in port you can actually take a look at the planner to see is there enough to do that will keep you interested to stay on board number five it's important to know that all of the shops on the cruise ship are going to be closed so whether you needed to go into the general store for some things that you absolutely need or if you just wanted to do a little bit of shopping maybe for some of the jewelry or some t-shirts or souvenirs that is all going to be closed so if that is something that you did want to do make sure that you get off maybe for even a short time just walk around the cruise port and then you can get a few of those items that you want and then come back on the cruise ship early now I'd love to hear from you if you've ever done this if you've ever stayed on the cruise ship while in port or if you're planning to do this on a future cruise please let me know what you like best please let me know in the comments below and I'm going to leave a video right after this one all about the things that you'll want to do about 60 to 90 days before your cruise to be completely prepared. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.